Next question is from Enjoy5. What are your thoughts and opinions on cluster sets? How are they best utilized? How are they best programmed? What exercises do they work well with? Who was it that we had on here? Was it? No. I'm trying to remember. Oh. Was it John Meadows or was it Scott Stevenson? I think it was John Meadows. Was it John Meadows? No, it was. It was, was one. It was one of those two. I think it was Stevenson. Yeah, it was either Stevenson oh. or or. And I, you know, I had to be honest that uh, before that, uh, I hadn't really incorporated them that much. And I went on a kick after we had them on the show. This was like a year or two ago. And uh, I really, I really enjoyed incorporating them into my routine. Um, but like anything else, the the thing that I always, uh, you know, warn people with, you know, uh, exercises like this or um, techniques. Techniques. Say, yeah. There you go. Techniques is a better word. Techniques like this is that you we do it and you're like well, just like me. I was like, oh wow, I got a nice response from it. Um, Notice a little bit of gains in my. I was using it for my arms. Uh, like bicep curls, I think that was the 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 example he used. Was, oh, you know, it's arm day tomorrow. I'm going to do that, and I really liked it. And I did it for a few weeks and saw great results from it. Yeah, I, I would say that you're. So first off, a cluster set is doing a set um, to fatigue, pausing for about 10, 10 seconds, and then seeing if you could do more. So that's what a cluster set is. I like them for hypertrophy. I like them for the pump. But Adam makes a great point. You get you stuck if you stick to it too long, it stops working. It's a great technique to inject into your routine when you haven't done them in a while, especially if you're in a phase like phase three of Maps Anabolic, for example, is is more focused on the pump. Mm -hmm. I like cluster sets for the pump. They do work strength stamina. So for performance, you build a little bit of strength stamina. I like to program them at the end of a workout, not necessarily at the beginning of the workout. And exercise-wise, they tend to work better for isolation movements than compound movements because there's so much fatigue involved. When you do these with compound movements, your form starts to break down. Um, and then, you know, with a yeah, compound I would, movement... I would not recommend these for squatting, deadlifting, overhead pressing. These are great for bicep curls. Laterals. Tricep, yeah, tricep yeah. push down, laterals. It's an interrupter. I mean, like a drop set or like strip set or one of these... Like similar. Other, other techniques that are, are somewhat similar, but they're, you know, they're fun. Yeah. And so I think that it, it, there's no harm in, in, in incorporating if you've been in the gym, you, you've done, uh, you know, all the foundational things and it's something to kind of uh, place in there for a short period of time. I think it does provide a new stimulus. That's good. So what I liked about it, right? So um, I believe his, if, and, and he, by the way, there's there's lots of different protocols, right? So depending on who you're talking to, uh, will you get a different like prescription of this is how to do a cluster set, right? Because I'm sure someone will hear this and be like, that's not how it's done. It's done like this. I believe the way uh, Stevenson or Meadows, whoever it was that we were talking to, I think the way he did it and the way I went and emulated afterwards was he does, uh, you pick a weight that you could do eight to 10 reps with, mm -hmm. but you stop at four and you stop at four. And then I think you rest for five seconds in between. Now, what you find you is end that up doing way more. Right? Yeah. You end up doing way more. So a, a weight that you could do like eight to 12 reps you now you do them in blocks of four with these little five second rest periods in between, and what you find up, what you find out, you end up doing is instead of doing eight to twelve, you end up can do like sixteen to 20. twenty. Yeah, yeah, sixteen to twenty for one set, and so that's kind of cool. It's yeah. you know, so you end up getting, and and that's where the real benefit comes from. I mean, when you talk about volume, you end up increasing the amount of volume on that exercise. It actually, I the way I programmed them in is it replaced my my bicep workout completely. It wasn't just an exercise. It was just like, okay, if I'm doing bicep, this is all I'm doing for biceps. I literally just did cluster sets for my buys for a good three, four weeks and saw phenomenal results because of the increased volume. Because if I was just doing straight sets and with that type of weight, I would have only been able to do eight to 10 reps for three or four sets, where because I was doing it with the cluster sets, I was able to do you know five or six sets of that same weight and get more reps out. So I ended up increasing the volume of training that I was doing on the arms. That's the real benefit. But as after doing it for three or four weeks, my body then adapts to that and gets pretty, pretty used to that weight and that way of training that by switching it back up again, I get great benefits again too. 